Good morning. This is Linda K. It's Friday, April the 12th, 2019. And I thought I would do a body read. And as you can tell, I'm having a bad hair day. <sighs> it is gloomy, rainy, chilly outside. So this is going to be my weekend to read. Um, I bought some books and I thought I would show you what I'm currently reading on my Kindle and stuff. I may have to be taking my cat out of this room while I'm doing this. So here's my Kindle cover case. Okay, the two books the two books that I am that I have on my overdrive through my county library system. One is a ebook and the other one is an audio book. The ebook is called Devil's Daughter by Lisa Creepus. And I can't blow up the cover, so you're going to get, you know, oh shoot, hang on a minute. Okay. This lighting is horrible. So, um, hang on a minute. Hang on, let me turn all, all the overhead lights. Okay. Well, it's only doing it right. But, anywho, you can see a part of it. It's right there. As well as the yellow cover. And then that's the library ebook in my county library system. Bring it through the overdrive. And then my audio book is called Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I know if I can. You press pocket wall next. Whoops. And here's the cover of it. So it's Jane Steele, and it's by Lindsay Faye, and it's a fantasy type book. And I'm on part seven, and I got three more parts to listen to yet. And I listen to this at night while I'm laying in bed. So those are the two, and they got my mistake on the Devil Daughter ebook so I can't bring up the full side cover it's the library problem okay the physical books that I bought and I'm reading I'm only reading like two right now the first one is the Animorphs series and book two The Encounter by K.A. Applegate and you can see how she changes. It is so cool. And this is my own copy. I, <coughs> I love her books. And I'm drink oh, by the way, I'm drinking out my favorite cup. And I'm having Mocha Cafe coffee that I, I did myself. Okay, the next book that I bought is called Get, <coughs> Get Off the Unicorn by Anne McCaffrey. And here's what it looks like. I love this cover. It is so cool.
The next one I bought, and this is book number what's the point? This is book number one in the play series. Yeah. And by John Sanford at book number one in the Lucas Davenport series. And I have been wanting to read these for a very, 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 very long time. And I love the cover of this. Blue, <coughs> Blue is my favorite color. Then another one that I bought is called Unnatural Issue by Mercedes Lackey. And this is one of my all-time favorite covers. And I love her books. And I am planning to buy all of them that she had come out with. The next one is called The Whole Enchilada by Diane Mott Davidson. And see, this is Whole Enchilada. This is my book number. This is book number 17, and her, I don't know, her, hang on a minute, it doesn't say. So here's what the cover looks like. And then the one that I'm also reading is uh, called Egg and Purgatory. This is book number one in her Cackleberry, Cackleberry Club Mystery Series. And it's by Laura Childs, Agent Purgatory. It, and there's some recipes that are, are included. That's what it looked like. And then another one that I bought uh, called The Shop on Blossom Street. This is book number one in Debbie McCormer's Blossom uh, Street series. And I love the cover of this. And then the last one that I got. Uh, called Death by Chocolate Cherry Cheesecake by Sarah Graves and it's book number one in her first new series. And I think if I remember right, see if I can find it. No, maybe not. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so those are all the books that I bought that <coughs> excuse me. Now I am reading. So basically the only two physical books that I'm reading is this one and this one. These are the only two that I'm currently reading. So, and I decided to to do a to do a party. Hang on a minute. This is my baby. It's Buttercup, and he had to be in videos. Buttercup, you say hi to everybody. Cause you're on camera. He my baby. I love him. So I decided to do a body reads today and 
and I used to do them a long time ago, but um, for some reason, I don't know, I guess life got in the way. So starting as of today, I'm going to try to do the Friday Reads every Friday. And I want to thank all of you for returning, for watching my videos, for leaving comments. It means a lot to me, and I appreciate it very much. So, I love you all. You all have a very wonderful week, whether it, you know, and do what you love to do, whether it's reading or stitching or knitting, crocheting, making quilts. Enjoy your week, and... Take care of yourselves, and happy reading. That is all for now.